Hello everybody, what's up? I am Vortech and welcome back to Worm Unlimited, where today we are doing a very quick tutorial on mining and prospecting. For those of you who are new to the game and you've finally realized, oh my gosh, iron and metal and stone are kind of hard to find if you don't find it already on the side of a mountain. So this was actually suggested uh, in the comments from a recent video, so thank you for sending that in. I thought, hey, this is probably a really good opportunity to share what I know, which in full disclosure, isn't a whole lot when it comes to mining and prospecting, but I do understand the basic concepts, and I have here my uh, my shiny new pickaxe somewhere in my inventory, kind of hiding from me, and I'm going to use it and show you exactly uh, how to mine and prospect. So as you can see right here, we're in front of a door. Uh, this is actually a mine door you can place once you have a mine and you started digging into a mountain, but that we should cover that first. As you'll notice, this hill right here, uh, it, it is a natural forming hill, uh, but this right here was all dug out by my friends who are, you know, currently using the town. They dug this out, and it took them a while. And it's going to take a while if you, like I said, if you don't spawn near a rock face, it's going to take a little bit to dig through all of the dirt and find yourself uh, at the stone layer. There's just a really thick dirt layer you have to dig through. It takes a while. It gets your digging skill up, though, which is very helpful. And once you have that, you can start to dig down into the stone, and you'll have something like this, something like a ramp that brings you down into a cave system. Now, they've already obviously developed this. They've lit it, uh, which is nice and convenient for us. And I'm now going to show you just a, very briefly what it looks like when you run into a vein. So here we have a reinforced cave wall. Uh, you reinforce this so to avoid cave-ins. And then over here, we have an iron vein. Now it looks a little bit darker than the normal cave wall, and you can see both sides of it are in fact an iron vein. And you can just mine this, you're just going to get iron. And the better your skill and the better your tool, I have a, uh, a 37 quality pickaxe here, and a pretty, I gotta check again, a pretty decent mining skill, I believe. Haven't done too much mining, but it's 11, so okay, yeah, not that great. Uh, once you get to 20, you'll probably see some decent quality iron. But I can sit here and mine iron all day long, get my skill up, but how do you find it? How do you know that an iron vein is right here? I mean, look, like digging through this cubic area, it takes a while. It takes about, I think on our server, they said like 13 hits or something like that. I mean, not too long, but enough to gather a whole bunch of stone shards and then come up short when you don't find the iron vein. So that's where prospecting comes in. Now, prospecting, my prospecting level, I think, is even lower because uh, <laughs> I've never actually done it. But it actually is a pretty easy thing to get up because literally all you need to do is right-click a rock, go mining, and hit prospect. And now you can see here that we're using our pickaxe a little bit. We are prospecting the rock. This is going to tell us what we're going to find. And the wall is reinforced and may not be mined. All right, well, that was helpful, I, I suppose. Uh, we can go ahead and prospect this one as well. And if I'm not mistaken, this will tell us there's iron in front of you, you idiot. Let's find out in two seconds. You would mine iron ore here. So that is what happens when you find an actual iron vein. It says you will mine iron ore here. Let's find a wall that's not reinforced. These don't look too good. Uh, cave wall. So if I hit prospect on this, what it's supposed to do as your level gets higher is tell you X amount of blocks away or X amount of spaces away you're going to find mining or like an ore to mine. You would mine stone rock shards here. So right here we would mine stone rock shards. And as our prospecting goes up, it gets a lot easier to discover what is where in uh, in terms of mining. So we have a bunch of rock shards here. People have been digging this cave out and it gets really, really dark back there. So we won't go back there. Uh, but yeah, that's, I mean, that's the basic concept. Uh, it's really, there's not a whole lot to mining. Uh, I just thought it would be helpful to kind of show you guys that the, really the most difficult, annoying part is finding you know, a space to like dig out your cave and just, it's tedious. You just gotta, all this was dug out. You have to dig down. You can choose to dig down or straight or up so you can have ramps going in all different directions. And uh, like right here's a copper vein. I just know this because it's already exposed. And then, you, you know, you'll go down into the, into the rocks and you'll start prospecting, trying to figure out what is where. There's some gold. Uh, so yeah, lots of stuff. And all you gotta do is mine and prospect. And hey, maybe you won't even need to prospect. Maybe you'll just keep mining a tunnel and get lucky. And strip mine. And also, quick tip, you'll find water that starts to uh, form as you go deeper and deeper. Uh, it just kind of depends on the cave and what level you're at uh, in, in the game. But you will find water, and I recommend not digging down into it because it's just going to get deeper. And you can drown while mining. You can absolutely drown while mining. Uh, similar to digging up lava in Minecraft, you don't want to dig down into the water layer in Worm. 
So there you go. There's your very quick and uh, simple mining tutorial. I'm sorry I can't share even more knowledge with you. I am, uh, however, not very, uh, you know, I don't, I don't do a whole lot of mining in Worm, but I figured I know enough to at least show you how to get started. So hopefully this helps. If you have any other tutorial ideas, please leave them in the comments below. And also check out my new series where I am preparing for a big expedition in Worm. It's going to be like a mini Let's Play. I already have the first part up on the channel as it is, so you can go check that out if you want more Worm content. Thank you so much for watching. Hit like if you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.